Once Upon a Time or The Rainbow lived a beautiful unicorn. Here he is. Hello. His name is Popo and he has a special craft. He drops candies out of his butt. Popo loves to sit on the porcelain throne. He can relax, ponder or check his phone. But something really bothers him. It's so crushing. It ruins the whole experience. That is... Flushing. Flushing is fully frustrating. Sure, the flush toilet was a medical milestone that saved millions of lives. It separated people from their poop and limited the spread of plagues like polio and cholera. But it uses at least six liters of clean, drinkable water to flush poop. Every day we flush over 140 liters of water. That's nearly six times the daily water consumption of Africa. And the flush toilet hasn't changed much for centuries. So, is there a less wasteful way to do away with our waste? Okay, we have a suggestion. Vacuum toilets. If you get on an airplane or maybe on some trains, um, you'll encounter a vacuum toilet. And that's a toilet that goes... Chelsea Wald is the author of a new book called Pipe Dreams, The Urgent Global Quest to Transform the Toilet. <laughs> and sucks the waste out instead of flushing it down um, with, with water. This seems an intuitive solution. Put those airplane toilets into our homes and water the light. Problem solved, right? Psych! Not quite. Believe it or not, after you flush it, poop doesn't just magically disappear. This is what's considered the gold standard of sanitation, which is a flush toilet attached to a sewer, attached to a treatment plant. The sewers need a certain amount of water to flow through them to work. So if there's not as much water flowing through the system, the sewers don't flow as quickly as they were designed to flow. The sewage starts to stagnate. There's more corrosion potentially. A quick side note. This also makes them vulnerable to the effects of climate change, specifically to droughts, because... You can't have a sewer without water. And to floods, because... They produce effluent, a cleaner water discharge, and that tends to be discharged into a local water body. And that makes them vulnerable to sea level rise and flooding. So, if we can't use much less water, what about recycling it? I know way too many poop jokes. If this company doesn't work out, I have a very good coffee table book. Aaron Tartakovsky is the co-founder and CEO of a company that focuses specifically on recycling water. All we do is put a little three-way valve, which redirects the water into our system. Step one, remove the solids. Step two, treat the water. Step three, send the water back up into the building. For things like showering and cooking, you're still going to have a, a connection to the city for potable water, but you're going to use, you know, anywhere from 50 to 90% less. Popo is happy. What a good find. But look at these candies. Aren't we leaving something behind? People have long known that these are useful substances. And we've forgotten about it. Pee has been used for cleaning, irrigation, skin softening, tanning, leather, and I shit you not, even for laundry, and as a toothpaste. When aged urine breaks down, it releases ammonia, which is a cleaning agent. Pee and poo are also rich in nitrogen and phosphorus. We don't believe that there is any waste in wastewater. So we can actually take everything in there and repurpose it. But our sewers make recycling very difficult because in them, everything is mixed together. You can think about recycling, how when you recycle, you separate all of the items that you want to recycle, the plastic from the paper. It's sort of the same principle. Once you mix everything together, it becomes much less efficient to get everything separated back out again. So what about toilets without sewers? Nearly half of the world's population lacks a sewer system. In India, Indonesia, and Sub-Saharan Africa, septic tanks and pit latrines are still very common. Put a treatment plant that is expensive and water-intensive in water-starved countries with booming populations, and you have a big pile of problems. But from the dark, dump, dismal stuff comes a gruff puff. Won't this toilet be up to snuff? Cough, cough, maybe.
The good news is that scientists and engineers are getting their shit together. Aaron's company recycles water and creates soil directly in city buildings, without sewers. Other toilets generate electricity by burning poop. And yet others turn the offending matter into clean, drinkable water. Here's a clip of Bill Gates drinking water generated by a toilet he sponsored. I'm pretty confident that this is the bottled water. Well, it was rigged. It was all, all poop water. <laughs> the bad news is that people in low-income countries can't afford them yet. And men in high-income countries don't want them. We just have to get people sort of to help them get over that yuck factor. You know, we understand that a lot of people are uncomfortable with this topic. Popo is sad. What a bore. We couldn't find the perfect toilet after all. But maybe this is the right call. We need not one toilet, but more. I think that one of the flaws of our current system is that we have one gold standard. But what we actually need is lots of different things because the world isn't really uniform. Some places do have a substantial amount of water. Some places have very little water. Some places need animal feed. Some places need nutrients for agriculture. There's no one size fits all solution. We can have decentralized solutions like us and centralized folks like the water utilities working together to create a stronger, more resilient overall system. And so we need toilets that can serve all of those different needs so that communities around the world can choose systems that are the best for them. But we have to talk more openly about toilets. We have designed our society to be flush and forget. And uh, so if we don't think about it and we don't talk about it, we're never really going to make any change. I've never had any bad experiences in my time talking about it. So it really will make you a very interesting guest at your next dinner party. Good. That was fun. Now I guess I have to take the toilet back. <laughs>